Hi, my name is Jeff, and I'm going to show you how to build your own permanent magnet alternator, or PMA, using General Motors 10SI, 12SI alternator case. Okay, now what we've got is six different stator coils to choose from, and we have three different rotors. These two are our newest rotor. We introduced them in May of 2009. This is our old slant core rotor, which is no longer manufactured. We now make a slant core plus, which is 20 more, 20% 20 more efficient than our old one. And then we make a power core, and then we make our super core. And what these are, this is 14 neodymium magnets, extremely strong, and these have seven. These are used in our lower wind turbines. And this one's used in the 1,000 watt wind turbine. And just show you how strong they are. They're extremely strong, powerful. Now, you can pick up your own GM 10SI or 12SI alternator from any junkyard. Uh, you can get them fairly cheap, uh, sometimes for free. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the fan blade off. And you're going to throw it away. We don't need that. And we have four screws that hold it together these four right here. Now we're going to want to pull those out. And we're going to pull the front of the case off. We're going to keep this. What we're going to do next is we're going to pull out the rotor. This is going to get thrown away. So we don't need this. Then I've already done this. You're going to pull out all of the brushes and we're going to throw these away. This is a brushless PMA we're building. Now next, if you can see up close here, all we're going to leave is the diodes in there, this block. So we're going to loosen all of these nuts so that we can take this stator core out. Okay, now the old stator core is out, and we're going to throw this away. We don't need it. We're going to replace it with one of our new ones. And this is what you're going to have left inside the case. Now you're ready to put your new parts in. Okay, now I've decided I'm going to use uh, this stator coil. So it's a good idea with all stator coils to go ahead and varnish them so that they don't corrode because eventually these will corrode. And uh, we have got a clear marine varnish that we use. Now, if you live in a real uh, wet area or if you're on a coastline and you have a problem with salt, what you're going to want to do is spray the entire inside side of your PMA with uh, We've got a varnish, it's called clear marine varnish, and then we also have green marine varnish.
And this stuff is specially formulated for alternators. It's non-conductive, high temperature. Don't just use any paint. The only, the only varnish that I suggest is our clear marine varnish or our green marine varnish. This is non-conductive, uh, won't burn off. So I'm going to completely saturate the stator coil first uh, before we put it together. Okay, okay. Now before I varnish uh, my stator coil, I want to make very careful not to get any of the varnish on these terminal ends and be very careful with these wires. If you break those, that cannot be repaired. So I've taped off my terminal ends before I use the marine varnish.